Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Ticket. In today's video, we have a brand new update for our Samsung Galaxy smartphones in the form of an application that is designed and deployed by Samsung. Now here's one example that we have. You have the brand new Memory Guardian application that, that allows me to track my device performance based on memory usage and also provides me a function to actually clean up that memory to make the phone even faster. So let's dive in and see what else we have. Now to get this update, what you need is you need the Galaxy Labs application. So you want to click the link down below, it's going to take you to my website. Once you're at the website, you want to scroll down just a little bit, okay? Under download, next to link, you want to click the link. That'll take you straight to the store. Once you're at the store, you want to install the Galaxy Labs application. You tap on open, and then you are going to see a list of modules. Now, I already have a video explaining all the other modules. In today's video, I just want to focus on the Thermal Guardian and the Memory Guardian which just got updated and added recently. So these are brand new, the Thermal Guardian and the Memory Guardian. Now to download these applications, once you have the Galaxy Labs installed, all you do is you tap on the shopping icon, it takes you to the store, and from there you install them one by one. So let's uh, dive in and look at these. Now let me start off with the Memory Guardian, which is in fact a little bit more simple to use. So you tap on it once it's installed, and it's going to launch the Memory Guardian and basically it tells you what applications right now are in fact using the RAM, the memory of the phone. And if anything is available to be cleaned up, you can actually clean that right away. So for example, you can either select all or individually select the applications that you want to remove from your RAM to boost your performance. So let's say I did these three right here and then I'm going to tap on clean now and that's going to clean the memory so now I have more RAM available for other tasks. Now I do want to let you know uh, this is actually going to be great. Maybe not for flagship phones but more mid-range or low-end phones. This is going to be very useful if you have less RAM. Okay so again you go inside it pulls up the whole thing you select and pick what you want to clean you tap on clean now. You only want to use this if your phone is giving you some performance trouble. But you can always come here and look at how much is used and how much is available. So in my case, it's almost 50-50, uh, which is perfectly fine in this case. But the phone is giving me the option to clean up to 4.2 gigabytes of extra RAM if I wanted to. All right, so that's the memory guardian. That's RAM management. Now over here we have the Thermal Guardian. This is a little bit more advanced. So let's launch this guy right here and we have a lot going on here. Now the biggest thing is this thing at the bottom, the Thermal Threshold. I'm going to tap on the question mark and look at this. It says drag the slider to control Thermal Threshold. If you choose to lower a threshold, your device can prevent overheating and protect the device from the heat. So if I drag this all the way down, okay, that's going to make sure the threshold of the phone is decreased so if my phone overheats it is quickly going to throttle the performance to make sure it doesn't overheat too much it is going to throttle the performance the phone's going to cool down and it's going to be good to go again now the middle portion here is the default threshold okay now some people don't care if their phones to get too hot some people don't like it so if you don't like it if your phone gets too hot you can throttle its performance by uh, lowering the threshold as you can see okay now if you don't care if you want the maximum performance at all times you don't really care about the temperatures too much which I think you should you can just max this out okay uh, if you have it all the way over here no matter what happens the phone's peak performance stays maxed out until it hits the higher end of the temperature threshold. Now that's the biggest thing over here. Now let me just bring this to the normal. Now there's also a lot more going on over here uh, but because I haven't done much on my phone as of now it's not showing all the activities that are possible. Let me show you in a bunch of screenshots what else is possible. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to go to the actual store okay and here's what's going to happen. So as you play with the Thermal Guardian as days pass it's going to start to lock some important information. So if I swipe over, basically when your phone does overheat, what you are going to see is you're going to see these red dots on the graph. So 
As you can see, on my Thermal Guardian, I'm not seeing anything right now because not much has happened. I just, I just recently installed this application. But if I go back to the store over here, get the details, uh, what happens is uh, you get these red dots and every time you click a red dot, it gives you a detail just like this one. It's gonna give you a reason list and it's gonna tell you what caused the phone to actually overheat. So this way you can actually manage and, and be aware of what's causing your phone to overheat and you can minimize that function, okay? Again, uh, if you have a flagship, I, I do not think you're gonna need this, but if you have a slightly older phone, this is a great little uh, application to manage that, all right? Uh, let me go back here, let's see what else we have, okay? So we got that and basically that's it, okay? We already talked about setting up the threshold and that's it, but this is the big thing. As you use it more and more, you're gonna see these red dots on your graph, okay? Let me go back to my Thermal Guardian. I'm gonna see all these red dots. I can click on the red dots and it's gonna give me description at the bottom right over here. Now that's the temperature threshold right here. You can see low to high. And then here we're gonna see some CPU activities. Again, I haven't done much here, so there's not a lot going on. But if you go back into the store, you can see all the more details. Just give it a few days and you'll get some more information. As you get to know how to use this, you are gonna appreciate it, okay? So those are the two big updates uh, in this Galaxy Labs module. Like I said, if you want more information on the other modules that you see on the top, you may see three, you may see four. Based on your phone, uh, you can search my channel. I have done some detailed uh, explanations of these guys as well. In this video, I just wanna focus on these two updates. But basically all these modules are here to make sure your phone performs at optimum performance. If I were to tap this one, for example, it gives me the option to boost my phone's performance uh, to optimize it. It says improve performance up to 15%. Uh, the approximate runtime for this would be 15 minutes. So if I tap on this one, it could take as much as 15 minutes to complete the Galaxy App Booster, which is gonna boost the performance of all my applications, okay? Just as an example, so you guys can see it, uh, you can download all these via the Galaxy Labs. I'm gonna stop it for now. Uh, but like I said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button. And also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.